Hi, I'm Mark Hammonds, working in Client Solutions CTO. I'm a Senior Distinguished Engineer, uh, and this is our Stream Diffusion demo. Hey, I'm Martin. I work with Mark in the CSG CTO. So my background is actually in visual effects, and the software that we built this with is from the visual effects world. So it's been a lot of fun to come back to that, bring the best of image processing out in a real-time manner. Normally, when we think about image generation with AI, you kind of type in a prompt, you wait a little while, you see how it went, you get a nice picture, right? Well, this is actually stable diffusion, not running like that, but we're running at uh, around 15 frames a second, or as we like to say, 15 cats per second, so CPS. And what we've got here is a camera, videoing Mark, he's our guinea pig, and he's looking at the screen, this is the input, and then that's the output, he's being turned into a cat. It's a lot of fun. So it's a really remarkable way for creatives to kind of explore a space. That's the obvious use cases around entertainment and engagement, which we're doing today. So you can imagine some of the ability to explore a space and kind of be creative. Since there's a precision workstation powering all of this with an RTX 6000 ADA, um, it's more than enough horsepower to get the job done. We're running a number of filters, a couple of different um, deep learning models behind the scenes that are um, allowing us to stitch things together in real time. Uh, the, the fidelity gets a lot higher the closer I get into the camera. And we can type in any prompt we like. We've even taken this into the metaverse where we can be in a virtual space and transform the people in a virtual space into anything we like and beam it back to them. So we're having a lot of fun with this. I'm a big believer of play as a form of unstructured research because we don't know where this is going to go. It changes so quickly. Every month there's something new. You can even fingerprint a drawing and it will turn into an object with text to image. Yeah, and we're able to capture everything that's happening here. So again, Martin's bringing up research, all the different prompts that people want to try, everything that they experiment with. We're able to understand a little bit more about what things people are looking for uh, in, in kind of this artistic play. Um, capture that and factor that back into the, the algorithmic pipeline that's supporting all of this. We'd love to invite everybody to come and play when we have this available in the cafeteria or at a CSC or an EBC. Be part of the experiment. Help us find out what works 